check this out. Global brought me out to Houston, Texas, where I was able to tour the world of asphalt. But I'm also going to be bringing you footage from the world of concrete and everywhere else I can find cool stuff. And make sure you guys subscribe because coming at you right down the pipeline, Frankie and I are in the process of building a plywood sink. Yep. A sink out of plywood. That should be an interesting one, right Frankie? Yep, should be. Now this one is called the steel wrist. It allows you to rotate the bucket indefinitely 360 degrees, has a built-in grapple on the back of it, allows you to tilt the bucket from side to side, giving your excavator that much more capability. guys remember the old halogen lights that you would plug in they'd be about 500 maybe even a thousand watts you would eventually touch the light in some way shape or form literally barbecuing the flesh off from your body well those days are gone no heat and no power cords so for you guys that snow plow this next one is for you they're called pole plows I put my very first one on the back of my pickup truck just a few months ago and it's a game changer. After experiencing how fast and productive these things are, I knew I had to have another one and put it on my second pickup truck. This is like the skill saw your daddy grew up with, except on steroids, and it's actually meant to cut giant timbers, so that makes it cool. Made, made in Germany, yeah. In Germany, it runs off of what? Battery? It runs on a battery, or you can use it manually. So you can shut it off and you can still push and it'll clean. All right, now looking at it is a concrete saw, but it's a battery-powered concrete saw. And you can see exactly how well this works here. Right in there. He's going right at heavy. It's a Belden brick. Did he not know what he was doing with it? Now this unit is made by steel, and it has zero torque. I swear I feel like I could probably grab the blade and stop it, but please don't do that. Now they'll tell you you have to let it rev up before you can actually make the cut, which is kind of like telling you that we don't have any power in our saw. This is a battery operated concrete saw. It's got the water hookup right there. Sit down. Under 20 seconds, we will make that cut. Undercut steel 
And the way they do that is they have this sensor inside of the saw that has kickback protection. So if the saw jolts out of the operator's hands, it automatically shuts it off, keeping you from slicing your face off. Now you may be asking, why would I want an undercut saw? Well, if you've ever had to crawl in a trench and try to cut underneath a pipe or try to do a vertical 90 degree cut, that's when you need an undercut saw. This thing makes up for all of the slack that the battery powered saw didn't have. said it before, the little things make me very happy. Check this out. Come back here. One of the worst jobs I've ever had is crawling upside down into a machine trying to clean out the radiator. In the dirt business, this gets plugged up and you got to get pretty creative or you got to be a gymnast to get it cleaned out. Check this out. Look at this. The radiator slides in and out. I love this thing. Slide it out. Clean it up. Put it back in place. <laughs> On the Volvo, I mean, uh, to me, guys, that is a game changer, right? Right then and there. But delayed engine shutdown, pet peeve. My guys jump in a piece of equipment, someone walks up to talk to them, and what do they do? Turn it off while it's still at high idle. That means that diesel engine is cooking with the delayed engine shutdown. They've programmed this thing so you can't do that. You can literally turn off the machine, stick the key in your pocket, walk away, and the machine will still run until it reaches the proper shutdown temperature. That's cool. But they did. Believe it or not, guys, this next one almost got me kicked out of the world of concrete because the guys running the show didn't want me to drive it outside of the area. Now, the guys with Overland Cart didn't care at all. But the guys that were running security, sure did. Of course, if you don't get it right the first time, you can always try again. Check this out, guys. This is so cool. Plus, you can bring it in. And you can manually dump this. How's that camera looking? Yes, I am that picky. So here's take three, and about now, security's calling other security for backup. All right, guys, sometimes innovation comes at you from a completely unexpected place. Take the battery on this Black & Decker system. The battery will power the drill, it'll power the sander, the flashlight, it'll even power the jigsaw, but the battery will do more than that. You can take the same battery, you can plug your phone into it, and this battery will then power your phone. Meaning you can take this on the go, take this with you, and making it a portable power supply for your phone. That is really flipping neat. Stop. This this machine is really neat. Check this out. In the front, they've lightened up the loader arms, giving you more capacity in the bucket. This is where your money is made. This is where their new design comes in handy for you guys that got to move a lot of material. Lighter loader arms, still as strong as ever. More capacity in the bucket. More money in your pocket. Max by Rigid Tools. This is the power base. It's got three different heads. This is the rotary head. Put this on. You're a jackhammer away. This is a right angle hole drill. And this is the reciprocating saw head. But watch this. Check this out. Let's say all you got to do is twist it, turn it, lock it. You're in business. But let's say this isn't the way you want to cut. You twist it. You can pull it off. You can angle it a different angle. And you can cut that way as well. It comes off with a click of a button, and this power head communicates with the battery, which communicates with the rest of the tool to optimize the torque. So when you grab a different power head, it knows what's on there, and it can make the right, and it can deliver the right power to that tool head. All right, guys, this is Hilti's outdoor laser transit system. It's got about a six-foot drop protection. See that 
said it's got it's protected on the outside of it but the protection goes deeper than what you see right here actually internally all of the vital components are also protected to keep it from your average drops and falls it can handle it all right guys now i know this looks like a regular fuel tank that fits in the back of a pickup truck but it's not it's a little extra special because it has def on it as well so if you get that equipment that needs def you can fuel it up with one nozzle nozzle I think I just hit puberty. And you can fuel it up with another with your regular diesel fuel, making this fuel tank a one-stop shop. This is a tracked wheelchair made right in Texas, and it allows the user to go through snow, mud, dirt, debris, take it out hunting, fishing, do whatever they want to do with it. All right, guys, this is uh, absolutely awesome. It's called Soil Compaction Assist. So as you're operating the roller now, you can put a sheep's foot over the top of this um, so you can work it in dirt or asphalt. But if you're really operating the roller, it's testing the density of the ground beneath it, giving you feedback right on the display up in the cab if you've actually reached the right density with your soil or your asphalt. So it's giving you feedback as you're actually operating the machine. So as you go forward and backward, it'll tell you if you need to make another pass or if you're good to go and can move on to the next section. I've never seen this actually in a machine before. Okay guys, this is the actual screen that the operator sees while he's running the machine. Now this is a blown up version of it, but this is right next to him. So you can tell that he's actually, he gets instant feedback. All right, he needs to hit another section or he's good to go and can move on to the next one. Check this out, guys, you're gonna like this. Go for it. This is a cutting wheel or a grinder. Cut the softer stuff like aluminum. Stainless steel. Cutting and grinding. Where do you find it at? Our website, our 800 number, or at any of the over 100 trade shows we do around the country here. Sorry about that.
Now I'm going to get down to a radius. Yeah, I don't want to think about me, dog. My wife told my daughter. Be able to make the curve. All right, guys.